Here's a brief overview of the sensor biasing that we used uh, for the OPB607 photo Darlington transistor. We biased the infrared LED uh, with a 7.8K resistor. BDD was a, uh, 5 volts, although it can take uh, quite a bit of swing. Over here, the acts like a BJT, um, except rather than a biasing network and a voltage input, you put your finger and the light bounces off of your finger and changes in uh, your finger due to your pulse will modulate the IR light and modulate uh, VBE, which will change the current, which is what we measure. This is the low pass filter designed to get rid of the DC component that goes to the op amp. All right. I originally tried to set this R1 to have a current of about one milliamp. The equivalent circuit uh, model, small signal model, would be GM, VBE, RO, in parallel with R2, in parallel with R3, because there's no resistor here. All right. And the gain, which we would want to maximize, would be minus GM, RO, in parallel with R2, in parallel with R3. However, since we don't know VBE, um, this gain equation is a little hard to use. What I did was measured a delta IC using a parameter analyzer and found that it to be about 4 microamps um, when the bias current was half a milliamp. So rather than a gain, what I get is a delta VC, which is delta IC in parallel with the RO, R2, and R3. Now, this turned out to be very sensitive to finger position, and uh, I believe that to be because in this configuration, uh, there's no emitter feedback resistor. And so uh, slight pressure changes in this finger will change IC dramatically. The fix is really to add an emitter resistor here. Um, it does decrease how much voltage swing you can have uh, in your biasing network, but I would think in the next version it would be well worth the cost. This does lower the gain, but you can short out this resistor in AC with a capacitor here, and so we can get the same amount of AC gain, but we get this great DC stabilization.